African and Middle East region, which delivered its usual reliable performance. How too it was only after the merger that the potential value of the closed mines in Tanzania were unlocked. Lemoana in Zambia, which hadn't made a profit since its acquisition in 2012, was also recognized as a new value creator. They now rank amongst our greatest success stories and largest cash generators of the group. In Mali, the Lulogonkota complex increased production by 5% quarter on quarter, and we expect that full-year production will be at the top end of its guidance range. You will all be aware that we are engaged with the country's transitional government about ways of giving the country more of a share of the economic benefits generated by the complex while ensuring its sustainability. For more than 30 years, Barrick and before it ran gold have had productive partnerships with the Malian state, which weathered many changes of government, including previous coup d'etats and a range of differences which had to be overcome from time to time. We are committed partners and we are working hard to produce a mutually acceptable outcome. Kabali, Africa's largest gold mine and Barrick's leader in renewable energy, thanks to its three hydropower stations. Its new solar and battery storage plant designed to complement the hydropower supply, will be commissioned next year. And when it is in commission, it will increase the renewable component of Kobali's energy requirements from 81 to 85%. And in fact, six months of the year, the renewable portion of our power generation will be 100%. Despite the lower grades in quarter three, Kobali's cost profile is still one of the lowest in the industry. And this will improve further with the higher grades and production ramp-up forecast for quarter four. In our ongoing quest to uncover new open pit and underground opportunities around the mine, Brownfield's exploration work continues to develop the arc target area where drilling is identifying additional mineralized loads, further confirming its potential to host a high-grade deposit less than four kilometers from the Kabali plant, as well as returning significant intercepts along Kabali's foundational KCD ore body. Tanzania has also been a real value contributor to Barrick, as well as the Tanzanian government. Two mines that weren't operational at the time of the merger have now been transformed into significant contributors to our bottom line, showing what the right people with the right strategy can achieve. It was here that we first formalized our partnership with the government through the establishment of Twiga, a benefit-sharing joint venture, which we have since replicated at Pogra. The Lamana copper mine in Zambia is another asset that was first restored to profitability and is now being groomed as a world-class operation through its super pit expansion project. Its feasibility study is scheduled for completion by the end of the year, and it is expected to go into production in 2028, the same year as Rikadik, achieving our strategic objective of becoming a significant copper producer. The project was launched with a groundbreaking ceremony recently attended by the Zambian president. And meanwhile, there are lots of preparatory activities as listed on this slide. Barrick is projecting a 30% growth in the production of gold equivalent ounces from its existing assets as we continue to advance our growth projects and unlock the many other value-adding opportunities still embedded in our portfolio. In addition, Barrick continues to lead the industry in ore body expansion and has more than replaced the reserves it mined over the past five years 
and is forecasting to substantially grow both its gold reserves and copper reserves again this year. Significantly, the ounces that we have been avid were at the same or better grade than the reserves that we mined. Since the merger in 2019, Barrick's organically built an industry-leading balance sheet through reducing debt by $3.5 billion, while at the same time investing $11.2 billion in developing long-life mine plans and return more than $5 billion to shareholders. Despite the multiple increases in the gold price over this period, the global gold demand is again projected to reach record levels for this year on the back of the return of Western investors into the metal via the gold ETFs. Gold equities, on the other hand, continue to underperform the gold price, and that is the opportunity for both us and our investors. With our disciplined business approach and solid growth prospects, Barrick is a stock that offers real upside in both value and returns, and as importantly, we have the world-class teams to be able to deliver on our ambitions.